good morning how are you today my smart students i hope you're doing well so today we have a new lesson and i want you to be completely focused and listen to me carefully so everyone here is the title of the lesson and before reading the title as usual i want someone to help me and tell me what's the day and what's the date so if you are ready and you prepared some papers and pencils, let's start the lesson. So who can help me to write or to say, let me um, correct this, who can tell me what's the day? Today is Sunday. Excellent. So we're going to write Sunday down on the paper and then uh, let's answer the um second question which is what's the date today's date is april 5th 2020 so excellent i want you to write the number uh sorry the day and day down on your paper so here's the title of the lesson and i want you to try to read the title because the title will help us to know what is or to find out what is the lesson about so please try just take your time try to read what's written over here okay read slowly so let's read the title now our title for today is sub subtract three digit numbers We've learned before how to subtract two digit numbers and today we're going to learn how to subtract three digit numbers. So the, our, our, the question, uh, our, our question for today is how can I subtract three digit numbers? So everyone over here, or let me say by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to subtract three digit numbers. Before uh, explaining the lesson, uh, here's the mental math. So I want you to think carefully and please um, solve the problem. And here's the problem of the day. I want you to read it by yourself and try to uh, circle the numbers and find the keywords. By the way, we've learned how to do this before because it's addition we learned how to we've learned how to add three digit numbers before to add so everyone here is a video and um i want i want you to watch the video so let's watch the video together and come back because the video will give you let me say um introduction about uh, how to subtract three digit numbers so I want you to be focused let's move to the video now hello today we're going to do three digit subtraction with regrouping I have the problem 342 minus 167 to show this I have some base 10 blocks I made 342 with three hundreds four tens and two ones now the first thing that we do when we solve a problem like this is we always start in the ones place and when we're at the ones place, we should ask ourselves. So this is very important, everyone. Here, as you can see, there, there are uh, three numbers, okay? And we are going to start from the ones place. Ones place, remember. Let's continue the video. Do I need to regroup? And to um, figure that out, a lot of teachers like to use a poem over here that goes like this. It says, more on top no need to stop more on the floor go next door and get 10 more numbers the same zeros the game so i'm looking here at my ones and i see that i have more on the floor so i do need to go next door the other way i think of this is that i have two cookies i'm really hungry and i'd really like to eat seven of them so in order to get enough cookies i have to go to the store and get a box of 10 cookies and bring them on over so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this 110 into 10 ones. 
because it's not a group of 10 anymore. We're opening it up so we can take 7 away. But to show this, what I just done with the blocks, we need to write down that I have no longer four tens. I now have three. And I don't have two ones. So everyone, let me show you anymore. something. I now have 12 ones. Yeah, so do you see that it's grouping every one here? Because I say it, as I said to you before, um, you know, like more on the floor, more on the floor, we need to go to the next door and ask for 10 more. Do you remember the poem? But if there's more on the top, no need to stop. But as I can see here, there's more on the floor. So we are going to regroup and borrow. So let's continue. So now, 12, take away 7. I have more on top, no need to stop. So I'm going to take away 7. 12 minus 7 is 5. I'm going to write 5 below the 1's place. Now I'm going to go to my 10's. And when I'm looking at my 10's, again, I should say, do I need to regroup? I have more on the floor, so I need to go next door and get 10 more. So now I'm going to bring over 100, which is 10 10's. So I'm going to change this 100. So as you can see over here, also there's more on the floor. It means we are, we are also going to um, regroup. So please uh, pay attention for this point. So uh, there's we're going to do regrouping two times. Into 10 10's. So now I don't have three hundreds anymore. I have two hundreds. And I don't have three tens anymore. I have 13 tens. Now I can subtract my tens. 13 tens minus 6. So I'm going to take 6 of these away. And now I can see that 13 minus 6 is 7. I'm going to write 7 below the tens place. Now I can move on to my hundreds place. 2 minus 1. Do I need to regroup? Ah, there's more on top. Yeah, no more need on to the top. Stop. So everyone remember, more on the top, no need to stop. So two, take away one. Leaves me 100 left. I write a one below the hundreds place. And our difference is 175. That is how you do three-digit subtraction with regrouping. So here um, are the steps. And if you want to look again at the steps, and I think, I, I think the video is very useful. So, and it's crystal clear. Here, let me say task options. We have task number one and task number two. Okay, so you can choose one of them, or if you want to complete two of them, also you can, you can do it. So here, this is an independent practice, and please, you need to be careful. For example, if we look at question number one, we can see that there is more on the floor. And if there is more on the floor, it means we need to regroup. So pay attention. More on the floor. You need to knock the door and ask for 10 more. More on the top, no need to stop. So I can, I can see here we need to regroup. Also here we need to regroup. And also over there. And remember, sometimes we need to, to regroup two times. Let's go to task number two. So please be careful and do it slowly. No, no need to be in rush. Take, take your time. Here at task number two, there is a game and it's, it's fun to play the game, I think. So don't miss this task. So here, how can I subtract three numbers? Um, we watched uh, this in the video and we know how to do it. Um, so thank you very much. Follow the instructions for each task, answer them, and then upload your answers in your portfolio in Curls Dojo. Thank you, everyone, and see you soon.